Hi everyone, I hope this meets you well. So this is Lifestyle Witching is Versatile. Thank you for stopping by. This video is not going to be too long as I have an information to share with you. So I came across a friend's um, WhatsApp status and I thought the information I saw on there was worthy of note and worthy to share and worthy to make a video about. And as I speak to you, I believe that you have a Facebook account and maybe like me, you don't have just one, okay, one Facebook account, you have more than one Facebook account. So I don't know if you've heard about this before, but if you're just hearing about it now with this information I'm sharing, please do well to forward it to your friends, forward this video link to your friends so that they get to see this and possibly act on it if they think they should, okay? So Facebook added a new feature in your latest update. Many of you probably don't know that over the past eight weeks, Facebook has been monitoring and tracking what you do when you're offline and not on Facebook. Check it out yourself. So you have to go to Facebook settings, scroll down to your Facebook information, click on the off Facebook activity. You can see the list in manage your off Facebook activity. To shut it down, click on more options in the same settings, go to manage future activity and turn it off. While you're there, make sure you clear history as well. Help share this status as well. So I had to do this. I've actually disabled my other Facebook account and had to check this Facebook account to be sure if you know it happened. And this particular Facebook account, I haven't logged into it this year. That's how much I would like for you to see. I haven't logged into it this year. So this is what the page looks like right now. And yep, I have to go here, right? And I scroll to where I've got settings and privacy. All right, and there are options here. So I click on settings. Right now I have to look for your Facebook information. So your Facebook information, here it is, like the fourth row. And I click on off Facebook activity. Hey, people, take a look. These are some sites I have been browsing like a few days now and some months ahead I mean before now like I mentioned I have not been on this particular Facebook page in months I mean the last time I was on this page should be like November or October I can't really remember and this information is here and I'm gonna click on this I'm gonna see if it's gonna open up um, I'm clicking on manage your Facebook activity and it doesn't seem to be opening up for me I don't know why okay so I'm clicking on this I don't know why it's not opening. Because I do really need to show you guys this. Okay, this option is not opening. I'm going to see. Okay, more options, clicks. Clear history. Okay, so, but we need to see the history. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I will show you how I got it done, how I got to view um, in the manager of Facebook activity from the other Facebook accounts when I did close it up. So I'm going to do that there. Okay, but since this one is not opening up for me, you can see of Facebook activities, some of the sites I belong to or I have checked through my phone even when I am not on Facebook. So I'm going to click manage your Facebook view activity shared with us by the businesses and organizations you visit off Facebook. So I don't know if this is a thing, if it should be in any way. So I'm going to click on this now so you can see for yourself. You see this? Your off Facebook activity. This is a summary of 263 apps and websites you have that have shared your activity. How is this? I don't think I ever gave Facebook this information. If you would want to read up more on it, you could go, you know, click on this. But really, I never gave Facebook this permission. Mostly, as I was off the app, you know, I never gave them that permission to do that. So I am going to clear history. Definitely disconnect off Facebook activities. Um, history from your account which I'm certainly going to do so let's check out more options it says information download your information manage future activity so I'm going to first of all I'm going to clear history I'm just going to go to clear history okay so I've cleared the history watch it goes on okay I actually wanted to open that so you see how much now I have cleared it you see I have no available activity to show at this time so next up I'm going to do I'm still going to confirm it see it's cleared right so now I'm going to go back um, cleared history the next we have to do is um, of course manage future activity so here I go to manage future activities and I click on manage future activities again as you see it's enabled right so I'm going to turn this off activities you've turned off so I'm going to check here to see if there are other activities I've turned off not that I've turned off any okay it's asking for my password let me put it in Okay, my network seems to, seems to be playing with me today so I'm just gonna you know skip all that I'll still show you from the other account so and that's it activities are turned off if you choose to turn off activity 
platform and app or website will be listed here. All future of Facebook activity is turned off. You do not currently have any activity turned. You don't currently, I actually never turned this off, but now all future Facebook activities are turned off. I'm disabling this, turning it off. So it says here are some things to know. Turning this off will disconnect your future activity. It may take 48 hours until it's fully disconnected from your account. You'll still receive activities from businesses and organizations you visit. They may be used for measurement purposes and to make improvements to your ad systems, but it will be disconnected from your account. Your activity history will also be disconnected from your account. This does not currently include Oculus activities. This will also prevent you from logging into apps and websites with Facebook because your activity will be disconnected from your account. So now I think I have an idea how they get this. But I mentioned earlier that I never have used my Facebook to log into a certain account. And I have not actually been on this site, on this Facebook app for the longest of time. I mean, since October, I have not been on this app. So I've seen a reason why a site I have not been on would get information of what I have just done a few hours ago. Okay, so it's not it's not acceptable. I do not approve for Facebook to do this or to spy on me, to spy on me. Another thing I realized is based on what they see you do, the activities that you are doing, your off Facebook activity, Facebook shows you the kinds of ads you are seeing. So based on what you're looking at, Facebook shows you ads as such. You know, that's what you come across when you scroll through Facebook and all that. So now I'm going to turn this off. And remember, when you also sign in with your Facebook to a certain site, because you do not remember your password, these also enables for Facebook to, you know, sneak in on you and do all of this. So you want to correct this right now. You want to take care of it. Possibly go and reset your passwords. And if need be, use one password for everything you do and of course to have stronger password strength you want to have a combination of letters um, larger cases uh, smaller cases and bigger case mixed with alphanumeric symbols and all of that but something you can remember okay so that being said for me i do not approve if you approve please you can leave it and allow facebook to do whatever it is sent to do but i'm turning mine off okay i have actually not done um, any um, turn of any activity before so i'm gonna skip all of this and leave it here now and that does it yeah like it's done okay so i'm out of here though it says it will take 48 hours but see you have no available activities to show at this time so there is nothing more here to see i'm glad i'm able to do this I hope you get to checking yours out and um, fixing it. Please, if you found this useful, share with your friends. I mean, get them to know what's happening and share this video so they get to know. Share it wide and out and um, hit the like button if you liked this video, if you liked the information that you got on here. And also hit the subscribe button. Come on and do me well to hit the notification bell as well so you know when a new content drops from here on. It is love and lights. Namaste. Have a lovely day.